Now, um, this is another video for Poly Mathematical, and in this one, I'm a bit annoyed to be honest, and I'm just gonna speak about why that is. So, David Cameron has got a new posh tub in his back garden, and that's cost him £80,000, and people are going off at that. Now, honestly, I couldn't give a shit. People can get hot tubs in their back garden. Do you know what pisses me off about David Cameron? The fact that the only thing that we have heard from him in the last two years is how he's spending his money and how he's, his family is hiding their money. You might want to look into the Panama Files for that one. Now, since he's left this country and he resigned from his office two years ago, he has left us in the shit. He, he brought up a second, re he brought up a referendum and he fucking turned this country into one of the most divided countries in the, in the whole of Europe. And he left it. He did nothing. What the fuck have you heard from him in the last two years? Nothing. Nada. Absolutely fucking nil. He left this country after giving it the most divisive argument in the last 40 years and doesn't give a shit. Now he just spends his money and he says nothing about politics. It shows you how little he fucking cared for his job. It shows you how little he cared for the people of his country. It shows you what sort of man he actually is. It's just fucking disgusting. And it's disgusting that we ever let him into office. Now, I'm just going to quickly contrast this with the Prime Minister of a little country called Bhutan. So Bhutan is a little country that's just situated just a bit above India. Um, now Bhutan has a Prime Minister who was a doctor and he still is a doctor. He works on weekends as a doctor. He's a surgeon on the weekend. He runs the country five days of a week then he's a surgeon on the weekends. Oh, fuck me do I feel disappointed in our political class. We have all these fucking politicians who are career politicians and then they've got a fucking surgeon as their prime minister. How fucking thick and how, how little value do I feel like there is in our political class right now? And then they got a surgeon. It just makes me feel so fucking angry. Because I don't fucking trust anybody in our cabinet to do anything. They can't handle Brexit. They can't handle anything. I don't trust them with a fucking knife and fork. They might cut themselves. But I'm not saying that that country is perfect. Because it's not. Because we all, ha all of our countries have their own problems. But their political class to me sounds a whole fucking lot better than ours does. So yeah. Maybe it's something that our political class, class can learn from. Anyway, thanks for watching.